Hey guys, it's me Arlene, Delicious Delights. I have two new releases here from the House of Guerlain. They're part of the Aqua Allegoria collection, which is a collection that I really, really enjoy. Uh, there's two new ones here, Oud Yuzu and Bosca Vanilla. They also released another one in the same time. It's called Rosa Palisandro. I was able to test that one in the store, but I couldn't get a sample of it. So today I'll only be talking about Oud Yuzu and Bosca Vanilla. Of the two, I'm looking forward to the Bosca Vanilla the most because there's vanilla in it. That's a main note and I really love vanilla. It's probably my most favorite note of all time. Um, but this Oud Yuzu sounds also very, very interesting. So I'll sniff this one first. I have I have not sniffed these ones before. Uh, so I'll just give you guys my quick first impressions and first sniff on these two today. So let's start off with the Oud Yuzu. Um, I've said recently a lot on my channel that I'm not really in the mood for Oud, especially when it's super hot out like it is right now. Um, but the combination of Oud and a citrus note like Yuzu uh, sounds really, really interesting to me, like a citrusy type of Oud. And a lot of the fragrances from the Aqua Allegoria collection, um, a lot of them are really suitable for the summer. By the way, my most favorite Aqua Allegoria perfume is probably this one here. This is called Mandarin Basilic. This is just the normal Eau de Toilette. Um, they came out now with a Forte version and also a Harvest version. Of those, my favorite would probably be the Forte version. It lasts longer than this EDT, but um, I really love this one as well. As you can tell, there's a big dent in this one. So when I finish this one, I might go ahead and purchase the Forte version. Um, it's a really nice, uh, zesty, fresh, realistic mandarin orange scent, and I adore it so, so much. All right, so let's get back to the Oud Yuzu. First sniff, first impression. Let's see what they did with um, the citrus and Oud kind of combo here. Okay. Hopefully the Oud isn't too strong in this one. <laughs> Ooh. Okay, so right away, it does not really remind me of Oud at all. I am smelling a citrus note. The citrus is bright, fresh, and zesty. I'm also smelling green leaves and branches. So I think of the tree with the branches and the fruit, the citrus fruit, all of that together. The oud in here does not smell like a barnyard oud. It's not that oudy to me, actually, but I am getting this kind of heavy, thick kind of base in here. Like a heavy texture, a heavy feeling. <laughs> so we have this heavy kind of woodsy, Kind of earthy and dark base and then we have this realistic sparkling bright fresh and woody green note on top of that i'm getting both of those at the same time but i don't smell a barnyard oud in here at all if I didn't know the name of this scent, I would not think that there was oud in here, at least in the opening, testing it for the first time. Um, on skin, it might be different or as it dries down, but right now it's a heavy, woody citrus scent. And that heaviness is really thick, <laughs> like really, really thick. But combined with this really realistic um, citrus note, the yuzu, it's very, very pleasant. 
and so far I like it. But I'm curious, I'm wondering if that Oud note is going to come out more later on because right now I wouldn't know that there was Oud in here if I didn't know the name, if that makes sense. <laughs> now I'm going to pull up um, the notes here. Just give me a moment. Oud Yuzu. Okay, so the bottle looks the same. Very similar to the other bottles. This one has a gold sticker and it's a Forte version. And the main accords, citrus, oud, fresh, spicy, green, sweet, and bitter. And the nose is Delphine Jelk. Top note is Yuzu. Middle note is oud. And base note is cedar. So that's interesting. Just three notes listed. But I like it. <laughs> I think it's a very wearable citrus woody scent mostly not really oody to me at least right now but very very pleasant okay so now let's move on to Guerlain Aqua Allegoria Forte Bosca Vanilla okay Wow. So right away, I can tell you that I enjoy this one more based on my first sniff. It's a salty, sweet vanilla, but mostly salty. It has an aquatic, salty sea breeze, salt water vibe. That vanilla is so smooth and sweet, but that sparkling character is just really, really intense. Almost a minerally, maybe a little bit of metallic, a metallic feel in here as well, but right now it's sea salt, vanilla, bright, fresh, Sweet, smooth, marine. Oh man, that's gorgeous. <laughs> I love aquatic notes in fragrance. And in particular, I really like aquatic and vanilla scents or salty vanilla scents. And this is definitely salty as well. And I think it's fabulous so that's bosca vanilla forte now let's see what the notes listed are for this one and the bottle looks again very similar just a gold sticker that says bosca vanilla and the accords main accords are vanilla aldehydic mineral powdery and citrus and so the nose for this one, uh, it doesn't say here, but okay, I'll read out the notes. Top notes, bergamot and eucalyptus. Middle notes are solar notes and immortel. Uh, base notes are vanilla absolute, driftwood, and musk. Mm, so there aren't any salty notes in here, but for me right now, it's a very bright and sparkling salty and sweet vanilla oh man <laughs> i love this one yeah so that's very very nice i'll go back to the oud yuzu mostly citrus realistic citrus with woods and green notes the leaves and still not a lot of oud so yeah, I think both are very, very nice. Both are appropriate for spring, summer. It has, both have a really nice freshness to it, but you can wear them year round too if you want as well. 
but of the two I think I am leaning towards the Bosca Vanilla <sighs> I really just I said already but I just really really enjoy aquatic notes more and more it's so so nice so yeah those were my quick first impressions of Bosca Vanilla and Oud Yuzu from the new Aqua Allegoria collection. Um, as I mentioned earlier, there's also one that was released in this collection, the Rosa Palisandro. I only tried that one time on skin when I was at the store, and that one was a very, very heavy scent. I really enjoyed it. What I got mostly from it is a floral woody note. The woody note was definitely prominent on skin. Uh, mind you, it's a very hot, it was a very hot day. It was like 32 degrees and I was just pro projecting, sorry, I was projecting this very strong woody note with a rose kind of background, but I thought that was really nice. Um, maybe even more for me at least uh, for the fall and winter because of how heavy it was uh, but I also thought it was really really nice. Anyways that was my video of these two scents. Oud Yuzu Bosca Vanilla Forte. If you guys have tried these scents and also the Rosa Polisandro, <laughs> if you've tried any of these ones from the new Aqua Allegoria collection, I would love to hear your opinions on those down in the comments. Thank you so, so much for tuning in today and I'll see you guys soon in the next video. Take care guys. Bye-bye.